Alrighty guys, in today's video I'm going to show you all how to route a belt on a 42 inch MTD LT5 riding mower. You have these two covers on the deck that you have to take off and things right there. It's three, three eighths bolts. You can see the bolts laying there. You can use a ratchet or a wrench. doesn't matter. You have your engagement cable which you have to take off. You don't have to take these guards completely off. You can bend them. There's the part number in case you need a new one. These act as your belt guide. You can see these little ridges right here on the side. That's your belt guide. You can see where the belt's actually been rubbing on it. And this is your belt guide, basically. It won't work without this. So make sure these are in good shape and not all bent, beat up. And these are what the bolts look like. They just screw in. They screw in right here right there and then one all over there. See these two idler pulleys? This one right here that's in pieces is a static idler pulley. You'll have to loosen that or take it all the way off and you see how the belt guide is positioned at an angle. And you see that just fell so I have to bolt that in. But you have to take it off. The uh, idler pulley over here for the engagement it's the same way. I'll show you the position of that but you have to loosen that because there's not enough clearance to slip the belt through and the belt goes through this little hoopy thing and then the in inner part of the belt, the V-groove right here goes around the spindle pulley here and the spindle pulley here. So, what we're going to focus on right now is these idler pulleys and I'm going to show you all step by step how to take care of that. The tools you will need is a 3 8 9 16 and so forth. And I got the front of the deck propped up on a jack stand. I'm over here on the front of the deck. All right. So, we're going to put one hand under here on this bolt so it doesn't fall. There's a hole right here, a big hole. And we'll move this bar right here. Alright. So, the hardware under here, you have your pulley, which I just took off. You have your brake, which goes flat. Then you have a washer, which is what your pulley rides on. You can see that here. So, we're going to move this around. I need my called a grease cap, even though there is no grease. Put this on too. Just kind of snug that down. So now we're going to route the belt. We're going to bring it around just like this. You guys really can't see what I'm doing, can you? No, you kind of can. So we're going to bring this around. Bring it around the back of the pulley. This is where it gets tricky with this guide. You're going to have to fight it to get it in there. Right, so that's in there. So we're going to bring it back. We want this guide right about here, I do believe. Yeah, right about there. Always refer to your owner's manual diagram. But it goes right there. So right in that vicinity. So now the fun part. There's a bolt head under here. Now there is a big hole underneath the deck where you can get a ratchet on. I'm actually going to take advantage of that. I have a 9/16 socket, so we're going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. Some move that guide over, hold it with one finger maybe. Yeah, that's, this guide's going to give you a lot of trouble, but that's exactly where it's supposed to be. A little over some. I recommend using the ratchet method like I am now. Alright, that is perfect. So that's good and tight. We're going to take our belt and wrap it around here. Kind of pull it tight. Put it in that groove right there. Pull it tight on that end. Put our cover down and we're going to go ahead and bolt this cover down real quick. You're going to need a 3 8 So there's three bolts. You just want to make sure you have the belt on and you're going to have to kind of manhandle this. Make sure the belt doesn't get pinched. And you're going to have to line it up. That's just the hard part is lining it up. And I got that started. We're going to take our ratchet. That's tight. I'm going to snug up these two back bolts. Now you see this cover I bent, I didn't take it all the way off. That's tight. You can do it either way. So now we're going to move on to our 
engagement pulley. Now you see I already got this one loose. So what we're going to do is right under here where my hand is, there's the end of the bolt. I'll show you that as soon as I get all this together. You just take a wrench and get up under here. But you'll have to loosen it just like all the others. So we're going to swing this belt around just like this. Pop it through that guide. Now we're going to time the guide, which I believe it's going to be directly the same as this one. I believe that's going to be it. Right? You can always adjust the guide. So now what we're going to do is go to the other side and I'm going to bolt it on. The camera's at the back of the deck. You can see the front hookup right there. And this guide on this side I took completely off. So, you see how the belt is down here? This is where your engagement cable goes through. So you're going to make sure this rides on the inside of this for the time being. And you're going to want to put this belt through here. The part number for this belt is in the description. And it's plastered throughout this video. It's a half by 96 and a half inches. You can find it online. So... Let's go work on this idler pulley. Okay, so the camera is now at the front of the deck. You can see that bolt head I'm talking about on that idler pulley. So we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. It's 9 sixteenths. We'll put our ratchet on top. I'm going to take our wrench, put on the bottom head right here. Just tighten it. And as you go, you're going to want to adjust your belt guide to how it's supposed to be. I believe these two are supposed to be in line to one another. You can't see me doing the belt guide. I do apologize, but I had to adjust. You just have to keep an eye on that belt guide, and if it moves, you just have to readjust it. This one didn't move, so I'm going to have to readjust it. That's a trick right there. You see how the ratchet swung and hit in the spindle right here? This is your spindle. It's a good trick to know right there. So once you get the bolt started, you can do that and just hold the belt guide where it's supposed to be. And then just tighten it up. You don't want to go too crazy tight or else it won't spin. You want it to spin, but you want it to feel tight. Now we got a problem. My ratchet's stuck in right here. I gotta get my ratchet off. Alright, so that was fairly easy. So now we can check our belt routings. It looks about right. And we'll go for it. It's supposed to be like that. So now let's put this belt guard on. Okay, now these covers right here, they're held on with three 3 8 bolts and um these covers act as your belt guide. There's the part number for this one. See these little nubs right here? See these little nubs right here? That's where the belts run it running against. So that's your belt guide. These covers are a necessity. They keep the belt from flying off. Without this cover on, look what could easily happen. This belt could easily slip off. So we're going to go ahead and line this cover up. There is a left hand side and a right hand side. No, they're all the same. Watch this. I can take this one off the left pop it on over here on the right and vice versa. So if you're putting this cover on for the first time, you'll look and, oh, it lines up perfectly right here, but wait a second, it don't line up over here. That's because you have to bolt it down on the two ends right here first, and then you'll have to squeeze it so that it kind of hugs the pulley. So we'll go ahead and get our bolts in here. You don't have to line it up to get these two in, because it'll line itself up. Trusty 3 8 socket. Ratchet. We're going to do this front right here. Now I can do this one handed, but you have to squeeze it just like this to get it in that hole. And then you tighten it up. Getting tight? Yep. Tight! See, it went in straight, self tapping. So, this is how the belt goes on. Your V side, which is this right here, the inside part is your V. Goes around this pulley, it loops around. The flat side goes over your engagement idler, loops around the motor. The other flat side goes around your static idler, loops around here, the V side. It goes over this. Once I hook it up to the mower, it'll be going over this, kind of over in this direction. 
follow it, it goes through this little loop hook thing, then back around. It's basically a T shape. It's very similar to the 42 inch uh, Husqvarna's, but it's not a Husqvarna. This is an MTD. You can see by that part number 618 on the spindle, it's MTD. So now we're going to put it back on the mower.